law enforcement, like politicians, they kind of look at it as like a crime. I've been arrested. My car has been impounded many times. I'm just gonna go out and, and literally just shred the f out of my tires. It's just like, I don't know, kind of just like a weight lifted off your shoulder. In cities across the country, car meetups have taken off since the beginning of the pandemic. Sometimes called sideshows or takeovers, a large crowd will block off an intersection or parking lot, spinning and drifting their cars until the police show up. Then they'll scatter and speed off to the next location. For Brute, I'm taking you to Minneapolis to meet up with Tyreek Jones and his crew, the Musty Boys, as they host meetups across the city. Yeah, this is basically the meetup spot. Got the nice view of uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's downtown Minneapolis right there. Once I post a picture that I'm here, they're gonna start coming. When y'all pull up, I want y'all to pull up, spectators pull up over there. But VIP, this is the section right here, okay? I need all my VIP on this side, okay? It's a lot of like organizing, like, you know, like where the places be at or where like where, what time and this and that. At first it was kind of like, chill, easy, but after a while it just got a little chaotic. Like people just started coming, new people just started coming and just started thinking like you can just grab, you know saying flyer for example, and just start sharing it. My outlook on the community is everybody's safety and everybody's well-being. I want everybody to have a good time. Hey y'all, Ian and Hellcat just pulled up. You know it's a movie, come on now. It's a movie, movie. My name's Elijah. Everybody also knows me as Ian the Hellcat. Right now we're in Minneapolis, Minnesota at our takeovers and we get it lit here. And let me hop in the back. This thing's sweet though. When George Floyd passed away, that's when most of our city got burnt down. That's when the takeover scene really started to amp up here in Minneapolis. There's a lot of kids out here that battled with drug addictions and all other shit, you know what I'm saying? Like gang violence and stuff like that. And like, this is their escape. This is where they go to, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people really tapped into the car community and they loved it. <laughs> The city is vibrating right now, man. <laughs> I swear to God, the city is vibrating. This first spot gonna be nice. All right, so my operation, or not my operation, but my theory, I try to have like, you know what I'm saying, like VIP in this session and then everybody else just park wherever. So just everybody on one side makes it easier, makes the job done really well, and yeah. I'm finna show y'all, I'm finna show y'all why they come to the Grand Reaper in a minute. Bro, I'm finna show you. My head hurt, but Your head hurt. What I like to do is the little stunts, you know what I'm saying, out the window. So I've been doing a lot of crazy hanging stunts. So like tonight and, and Sunday will be, it's gonna be that. I'm a kid that comes from the ghetto. Like, I'm lucky to have even made it to where I am now. My dad was the best of influence. How he got brought up into cars was he stole, he stole cars. So he would put me in cars, like he would put me at a young age. 
basically taught taught me how to drive. It basically taught me like I like I stole it. So. So that phrase like. Drive yeah, it like you drive stole it like you stole it. Yeah, so you feel me? So any car that you put me in, drive it like you stole it. All right, cool. I kind of took all of that. It's like, okay, even though like this stuff is kind of illegal, I can take this negative and turn it into a positive. When you're a real slider, it's calming, you love it. It's just like, it's like an addiction. It's an adrenaline rush. It's just like, for me, it's like you just find peace. Hey. What would you be doing if you weren't doing this? Like, to keep it 100, I was, I was, I was up to no good. Like, I was doing, yeah, like, that would really get you in trouble. <laughs> that would really get you in trouble, man. Like, honestly, like, this has changed my whole perspective on, you know, I, I've always wanted to do more in life, but I never knew what I wanted to do. This video going viral as hell. I'm almost at a thousand likes right now. I told you, my then, bro. My page. Wait, go back up, go back up. Go I'm getting sponsorship deals, and now it's coming in. It's like, there's actual money. Like, every day in your hand, you have money. All the apps you use from Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, you can make money off of all that. It's a new age. Look, watch the truck go. Look, look, look. Watch the truck go. This is the worst thing ever. Look at that. You, you see that? That ain't how you slide it. Oh, emergency brake puller. That's what you call him, an emergency brake puller. Look, look at that. I'm surprised he ain't running to the pole yet. Hey, stop capping. That's how you slide. No, I don't. No, no, no. Hey, don't, hey, don't put me under the bus like that. So the reason why I really like that, you feel me? I'm going to be real with you. I went from homeless, not having this, uh, after being homeless for like maybe like a year or two, I humbled myself and got myself together. They make it seem like we're a bad, like we're a bad thing because this, like, this is like our outlet to let our anger out and stuff like that. Like we want to enjoy ourselves to where we can have fun, and by us having fun to do everything that we should do as a car community, I feel like they should just make a legal pit because we'll really enjoy ourselves. I'm gonna bring you over to EJ. He, EJ want to talk to you. This is the first person I ever went viral with on the State Troopers page. Bro. Oh God, million, million views. Like million that. views. Crazy. What? Just the adrenaline, really. What? You get a pump, but I ain't gonna lie. Keep spinning for a long time, you gonna get a headache. Like your head, <laughs> my head, my head hurt right now so bad. And my allergies kicked in. I ain't saying it like that. From the smoke, the hey, spinning, yeah. the dizziness, yeah. uh, the hang of it yeah, though. Yeah, here go. No, stay, hey. I went to jail for it last year because I was doing yeah, donuts in the intersection. It was on the news and everything. I was doing donuts in the intersection and I, it was a spectator. I led my car and he let off like 20 shots and it went viral. That video went viral and then they got him I'm still fighting that case still to this day. It's crazy, but. Yeah, the police don't want to let us do our thing. I mean, a lot of people that come out here is, you know, people that be stressed, going through something, all types of stuff. But. Like this car stuff, it really brings people together. It's just unfortunate that, that this happens anywhere though. So people are going to ruin things for other people, regardless of what it is. Other people got other intentions when they come to these functions. We all good, positive vibe. On all the flyers, no violence, no drinking. No drunk driving, no, no drunk driving, nothing. We we promoting it to be as safe as possible. Of course, you're gonna have people that's gonna break the rules. You know what I'm saying? And do what they want to do. And that's on them at the end of the day. But it falls back on us. So it's like, what can you For do? Real. Yeah. Summer Street. I posted it on my story. It, it's posted. Man, y'all going towards him. We supposed to go away from him. That's why I, too, that's why I did summer school. Yeah, the police definitely up 
their enforcement recently put together a heat task force. They're starting to come in a lot stronger. They're trying to issue felony criminal damage to property. You know, they're, they're not playing no more. There's no legal, legal spaces with like the city of Minneapolis. We can compromise. Like, even this month, we have a legal pit. We're willing to compromise and do it the right way. Once there's a legal lot, I think it'll be a balance. There's tracks and stuff like we can go to, but the nearest track's two and a half hours away. Not a lot of people can make it up, make it up to that, go burn tires and come back. I think once we get like the legal lot near the cities, it'll be more balanced out where it will, like the police will notice like, okay, now they, they got this legal lot. They see that, okay, they kind of calm down. That's why a lot of these kids aren't stopping because there's no legal lot right now. I always do. It gets me hyped. I love drag racing. I love, I love racing around a track. I love doing donuts. I love, you know, anything that has to involve a car. I love, I love it. <laughs>